I think the biggest crop in the state of California, in my opinion, based on conversations with IRS and other agencies, is marijuana. Because it's always, it's like big business. You just take whatever you get, mark it up, and put it back out again. It can be grown indoors, it can be grown outdoors, it can be grown in greenhouses, it can be grown on hillside, and yet legalization would destroy their market. It would put you down in the category of somebody who grows tomatoes or rutabagas or something. There's a market for tomatoes, but it's not at $1,000 a pound. It's bringing in a caliber of people that I feel that the majority of the people do not want to see in Nevada County. These marijuana growers in Nevada County are, are nothing but opportunists. Uh, they're taking advantage of a situation, and, and uh, that's the American system. If, if there's a, enough demand for a product, there's going to find a supplier for it. The weed is, you know, like just a job. Only it isn't just a job because I do enjoy smoking it and uh, eating it and... Uh... So seeing violence in the fields and it is a seasonal phenomenon as the harvest season draws close in September and October we find every year reports of mysterious gunfights taking place in the hills reports of armed robberies in which people are held at gunpoint and their crops are stolen but they, they represent in, in supplying this product a pioneering spirit that uh, calls for initiative and intrigue and uh, uh, all of those things, uh, it doesn't uh, uh, make it any the more uh, legitimatized, yeah. but uh, it, it uh, does uh, provide for today's needs or wants, like any American business. <laughs>